Have you ever sent out a link to a customer that looks like this? And wouldn't it be much cooler if all your links would actually look like this? Well then you clicked on the right video because in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the Rebrandly link shortening tool to achieve exactly that. Let's get started right now. So you might be asking what a URL shortener actually is and in essence it is exactly what you think it is. So it's a tool that you can give a huge like big ugly URL to and then it will return a nice short URL that can also contain your brand name so your actual brand domain and um, which makes the link look much more professional and you can actually do much more than that so for example you can track how many people actually clicked on your link you can see statistics about these uh, people so where they're from which device they use and things like this and also what you can do is uh, once you've created one of these links uh, then you can later edit the link so the link uh, destination and if you've used the link in like let's say 100 different places um, then you only have to update it in one location and all of the other locations will be automatically uh, redirected to the new destination of the link. For me this is a huge time saver for example when I produce YouTube videos and all of these YouTube videos have uh, links in like the description and then I want to update one of these links uh, well previously I would have to go into each of the video and I would have to update all the links manually and now what I can do is I can use Rebrandly the tool which we're going to cover in this video and I can just uh, like update the link once in Rebrandly and then all of the other links will automatically be updated as well. So now that you know what an URL shortener actually is let's get started by setting up Rebrandly together. In order to use Rebrandly, you will have to sign up for a free account with uh, Rebrandly. And um, there are actually different pricing plans. Uh, you do not need to actually have a paid plan, which I don't use as well. So I just have the free option, um, which allows up to 500 different branded links, which is more than enough for myself because I'm just a one man company and uh, therefore I don't need more than that. Now, if you have uh, you know, lots and lots of different links, if you're in a bigger company, you might want to look at some of the uh, actual like pricing plans, which you will have to pay for. Um, but for individuals, so freelancers and really small companies, I think that uh, the 500 different links uh, is completely enough um, for you. Um, so yeah, just uh, click on the sign up option here and then I'll see you inside of the Rebrandly account. So now I'm here in my Rebrandly account. This is the actual account that I use for my business as well. Um, but we'll not talk about this too much for now because first of all, we want to connect your domain to Rebrandly. And to do that, we want to navigate to domains up here. Now, as you see, I already have one domain connected here, which is go.yanosworkspace.com. And this is just the domain that I usually use uh, for my links. Now we're going to be setting up a new domain here because I want to show you how this actually works. And why do we need to do that in the first place? Well, it's because we do want the rebranded links to actually use our own domain because that means that they are not only shortened, but they're also branded. So it seems like it's a part of our website and it just makes these links much more trusted to our audience. Um, so, you know, um, you can imagine having like a huge link um, that's like weirdly shortened and that has like a huge list of characters at the end and like uh, affiliate tags and whatever. Um, so that's usually not as trusting as uh, like having a link that's just your domain and then like a couple of words that really describe what the link is about. So that's why we want to add a domain to your Rebrandly account. Now to do this, you can go to new domain. And here you actually uh, can register a new custom domain or you can connect a domain that you actually already own, which is what we're going to do in this video. Now this window pops up where you actually have to enter in your domain. So in my case, this is going to be learnwithjanosch.com and then I'll click on next. Now you have the option to choose if this is a spare domain or if it's not. And um, spare domain means um, that it's not associated with a website, blog or anything else. Uh, in our case, it's not a spare domain because, uh, well, this is my actual um, like demo website. So uh, no, we do not want to um, make this a spare domain. Now we have to choose what subdomain of the website we do want to use for uh, Rebrandly for the purpose of creating these uh, redirected links. Now I would use something like go.yourwebsitename.com uh, or something like link.learnwithanosh or yourwebsitename.com. Um, I'm just going to go with go again because I think uh, that actually sounds quite nice. And um, so yeah, let's, let's click on next and uh, continue setting this up. So what we have to do in order to complete the setup is we have to add a record to the DNS records of our website. 
Now, don't panic, it actually sounds much more complicated than it really is. Uh, we just have to copy and paste that information into our, our web hosting account or like the, the account that actually manages our domain. In my case, that's actually my web hosting account because my domain is pointed to the web hosting account. So you'll just have to see for yourself uh, where this actually is. If you have a website administrator, then you might want to contact him or her um, to, to consult you, with you on this topic so that they can maybe help you out with this. I'm just going to be showing you how this actually works for me. I'm using SiteGround for my web hosting. Uh, so that's where I'm actually going to make these changes as well. All right, so I'm now in the back end of my hosting account and here I can go to domain and then I can go to the DNS zone editor. And this is exactly what we want to do. So um, we do want to create a new record, which is an A record. And the domain, so the name, which we want to do this for is go.learnwithjanosch.com, which is the domain that we specified. Um, if we go back to, to um, sorry, here, uh, if we go back to rebrandly, um, this is the domain that we actually specified. Now, this is the um, points to address, which we have to copy to the clipboard. And now we can go back. And in here for this address, this is what we put in. So this is the IP address that we want this to point to. Uh, now the TTL, um, you can just keep it at one hour. This actually um, yeah, makes sense. And now we can actually just create this new A record. Perfect, so the A record has been created, which means that the domain is now connected to our rebrandly account. This might take a bit of time, so don't worry if it doesn't work instantly, but let's actually check it out in, um, inside of rebrandly and let's see if it actually works for us. So uh, here we still see that it's not green, so this means uh, that this has not yet been verified. This is exactly what I told you about, so this may take up to 24 hours um, to actually complete. Uh, but after that, it should be working just fine. All right, so now I've waited a couple of minutes and for me, it seems to be working now. So we now have the green little um, button up here uh, and it says that this domain is now working correctly. So if you go in here, the domain is actually active and ready to be used. And we also got this little message uh, that the domain is now verified and can be used. So now it's time to actually create our own first branded link. As an example, we're going to take this video that I posted on YouTube, which is the introduction to Zapier, and here is the video link. So let me copy this, and let's go back to Rebrandly, uh, go to links, and now let's create a new link. Now, this is where we have to now put in the destination URL. So this is the URL we just pasted, which is where we actually want to go in the end. Um, so let's actually paste it in here. And now you see that already we now have the option um, to choose a branded domain and also to choose a slash tag. Now for these branded domains, we can now choose between the one that I actually um, just added, which is this one, and then go.janoschworkspace.com, which is the one I chose previously. Um, so let's just choose that one. That actually is fine. And then the slash tag is everything that goes after the domain. So it's just like this up here, this part after the domain, which we can now change to whatever we actually want it to be. Now, I would usually go for something descriptive here. So in our case, this is a Zapier introduction video. So let's just say Zapier uh, introduction video. <laughs> we could also just say Zapier introduction. That also works fine. So let's just do that and let's create the link. Perfect, so we now created our first branded link. It's really as easy as that. And now let's just check if it actually works. So let's click on visit URL and let's actually see if we get redirected to the video, which we actually do. So that's actually uh, exactly what we want to do. Now we can also test this out and let me go out of here for a moment um, by actually pasting in this URL into the search bar, uh, just to be really uh, sure that it works. So we can copy it from here and then um, put it in here by just pasting it. Um, and we see that we do get redirected to the exact, same exact video, just like we wanted to. So let's actually close this out because we don't need it for now. And this shows us that the link is working correctly. And so we can now use this wherever we want to. And uh, we can now also change the destination of this link however we want to. So let me actually show you how this works. So you can actually do this right in here, but let me just go out of here and let, uh, let me open this up in another window like this. We can go in here, click on this little um, edit button here, and then just paste in another URL. So um, let's use the one for my introducing Elementor 101 video. Let me copy this video link, paste it in here, 
save. And now that it's updated, let's actually go uh, back to the URL. Let's visit this link again. And now, as you see, instead of going to the, uh, let me just pause that. Uh, instead of going to the, oh, well, uh, instead of going to the Zapier video, we're now going to the introdu uh, introducing the Elementor 101 course video. Um, so we just changed the destination of this link. And if we had this link in 100 places, then each of these uh, instances of the link would now point to this video instead, which is really useful again uh, for like batch processing these link destinations uh, if you have to. Now what's also really nice in Rebrandly is that each of these links that you create also automatically generates a QR code. So let's actually check that out. So if you go to this QR code button up here and click on it, you'll see the different QR codes that you can just use um, to, yeah, you can just download them to your, um, your files and you can implement them in, um, for example, a PDF or you could put them on your business cards, things like this. And they will actually point to the exact same destination as this link does. And, um, and then again, also they will uh, redirect depending on what link destination you put in this link. Um, so this is really, really useful, for example, for business cards, for like flyers that you hand out and things like this, um, where you might want to like uh, change the information later. So uh, yeah, a really nice option that Rebrandly gives you here. And then lastly, what I want to show you about Rebrandly are the link statistics, um, because they are also really powerful. And for this, let me actually choose a link that has actually been clicked quite a few times. So let's go with this one, which has been clicked 125 times. And if I click on it, you see all these statistics in here. So I have uh, the total clicks, I have uh, the last click, and I also see the clicks by day. Um, you can also do this by hour, you can do this by month, uh, and stuff like this. So you can really see the performance of your links and see how many people actually use your links. Um, now this is not important for all types of businesses, but for example, for me, it's really important and really useful because I see how many people actually interact with the content I'm producing, uh, how many people click on the links that I'm adding and things like this. And uh, there's even more to this. So for example, here you have uh, a list of the countries where the link was actually clicked. So you have you know, like 36% from the US, then there's like 5% from Canada, 4% um, from Brazil, 1.6% uh, from Argentina and stuff like this. So you also, also see uh, where your audience is actually coming from uh, if you um, you know have some kind of business where this is relevant for you. If you want to see a more detailed breakdown of this, you can also click on the show countries option and then also on other countries. And then you have like a good overview of all the different countries where you actually got these clicks from. Uh, but for now, let's actually hide this again because we don't need it. All right, so now we come to the other statistics. So there's things like the day that the people actually clicked on this link, uh, the hours of the day where they actually clicked on it, uh, the sources, like uh, the sources from social media, in my case, Facebook and Reddit, um, the devices, the browsers, the platforms, the language. So pretty much everything that you want to know or might want to know about um, your link clickers, <laughs> your visitors of your website and the people that interact with your content. All right, that's it for this rebranding tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please uh, let me know by leaving a like and consider subscribing to the channel uh, because then you will get uh, additional content around the topics and tools that you really like and that can help you make your digital life, uh, digital business and productivity easier. That's it for me. I hope I see you in the next video and take care. Bye.